Hello everyone, I'm Amy from Amy's Acrylic Artistry. Welcome to my channel and welcome to part two of this fabulous resin bowl and vase. So where we left off in part one, I had just poured uh, over the vase into my mold. I have left this now for about six to eight hours. I'm trying to think that this I think was eight hours because it was a cooler temperature. So cooler temperatures uh, cause the resin to cure much, much slower. Um, but now that it's starting to warm up, I'm going to have to keep an eye on my temperatures because my resin will definitely be curing faster. So this is the point where I will be creating the bowl. Um, I have a really hard time with this because I have such little hands. Um, just to put it into perspective for you, the gloves at work where I um, at the hospital, large, medium, small, I wear the smallest gloves. They are still way too big. And as you can see, the gloves that I have on my hands, they are a little bit loose. They are smalls. I could definitely use an extra small and to try and get my fingers into the right position to um, create this bowl is definitely difficult and I have had to practice. If the resin folds in on itself and touches itself, it will stick and depending on where in the curing process it's at, it will stick permanently and it is really hard to unstick it. The first few bowls that I did, um, I had, I, I, I destroyed the very first one that I created. But like I said, with practice, this uh, definitely gets much, much easier. So here I'm just pressing it into the bottom of this bowl. I'm folding in to make the little wavy parts how I like it. Um, getting that bottom part there, I'm just pushing it into the edge. So once I get the resin bowl how I like it, I put in a silicone mat and one of my full heavy bottles and I set it aside to finish curing. So here's what the vase looked like at the very end. It's very pale. It's not how I wanted it to be. I do, I really wish it was more dark like the bottom spot there. So I was trying to figure out a way that I could make the pigments darker. So what I did was I mixed up very small amounts of each of the colors. I did not do the, um, the TLP uh, macaw, which was the the white iridescent um, indigo gold shift. I did the blue, the turquoise, and the brown, as you can see there. And I let it sit. Um, I let it sit for about 45 minutes, and I kept testing it. I think what I would do is I would do this again, but I would only do half an hour. It was a little bit too thick. But again, this was trial and error, and the ending result actually turns out pretty cool. It's a different kind of pattern that um, I wasn't expecting. But I think if I want what I had pictured in my head, I would do less uh, of a time frame and, and attempt it at 30 minutes instead of 45. If you are enjoying what you're watching, I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well as the thumbs up and I would love if you would leave me a comment down below. I love to hear what my viewers think of the pieces that I've created. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching today. All right, so this is just me continuing to layer and drip and as you can see, I'm trying to fill in the spots below and because the resin is so thick, it's definitely running slower so I grabbed my heat gun to try and speed things up a little bit and this this resin is safe as long as you don't heat it so when you heat it you change the chemical composition of it and it's no longer um, VOC free so I grabbed my respirator and I actually opened up the door behind me to add in some airflow um, and um, I will be using my heat gun to help the resin um, thin up a little bit, is that the right word? And flow down the sides of the vase. And of course, as time goes, 
the resin continues to thicken. So that's another reason why I think I would only do half an hour um, because it was thickening up very quickly. Thank goodness for the heat gun. Okay, so I have now let the bowl sit for 24 hours and it's time to pop it out of the bowl. Um, and it comes out so easily. I was so happy. It just, a lot of the times I have to pull on each of the little um, wavy things, but this one just popped right out, which was absolutely fabulous. I love these colors together. The dark, dark blue with the turquoise and then the antique copper bronze whatever name it's called I can't remember exactly um yeah beautiful 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 there's a little bit of clear um resin in there too so you get some spots where you can see through the bowl which I think just adds a lot of character to this and this is a Mother's Day gift for my mom she has actually been away on a cruise I think she left the day after Mother's Day and I had to work on Mother's Day so I still have not seen her yet um, but she will be getting this this weekend um, she should have this by the time this video is out and I'm super super excited for that so now all I have to do to finish this is to sand the edges and add in some oil-based gold around the edges, which you will see at the very end. I do put this back into the bowl just to let it completely cure uh, for several days, just to make sure that it hardens up because sometimes if your room is too warm, it will actually flatten right out again. So I leave it in the bowl. So now here are the final results. This is the end result of the vase. Initially, I would have really liked to have the entire vase covered, but I ran out of resin and I think that this actually is very unique. It has that pale color underneath and the darker colors over top. I always leave the drips on the edges because again, it just adds some character to it, but I really, really love how this turns out. And like I said, I think I would definitely do less time on the resin next time. And here's the bowl all completely finished. I, sh I uh, sanded down the, the edges because they can be a little bit sharp um, and then added in an oil-based gold marker just to touch up those edges. And it looks fabulous. I love it. Just showing it off there again. I would love to hear what you think of this. So make sure to leave me a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would do so. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well as the thumbs up. And thank you so very much for watching. Have a great day and a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.